Hello Year 9, nice to uh, know that you're there and working, obviously saw you in a live lesson yesterday and have another one tomorrow. So today, as I put on the description on showing my homework, just a little break away from the protest poetry and actually, as I put there, a ray of sunshine, trying to look at something a little bit more positive, perhaps you could argue, uh, than the protests, which generally can be rooted in something quite emotional. On this slide then that you'll see, these are the slides from showing my homework. Top right is your title, I've gone for presidential poetry, and I'll just go through task one here before letting you pause the screen so you've got five minutes then to have a bullet point three predictions for me last week was the inauguration of Joe Biden as he became the 46th president of the United States and there was a poem delivered by this young lady Amanda Gorman uh, she is called their youth poet laureate I believe she is um, her task is to write poetry as a young person for the country um, and she wasn't given any specific instructions is what it says on my uh, description there but basically urged to focus on unity and on hope. Unity is in being united. Um, prediction then for me, as it says at the bottom, before you actually go on to listen this to this poem, um, what kind of things do you think she might have chosen to write about and include? That's a very broad question, but if you're in class, I'm sure you'd be able to. I'd say think about where the country has come from, think about where this uh, new president might want it to go, and she's been given that task. What sort of things might she include? It says bullet point three predictions. Go for at least three, please. Push yourself for more, but take yourself five minutes. So title, date, and that is time. Task number one. I'm going to go quiet for five seconds and allow you to do that. Over to you. Pause. Okie dokie. There you go. I look forward to reading those later. So what you need to do now before we go any further is you're going to pause this video again and just take five minutes. You need to get this table onto your page. Um, look at the bits down the side. This is going to link to the poem which she delivered and which she wrote. And then you're going to be looking for evidence from it that illustrates the things on the side there and why you think it's been included as in the effect that this might have. So those are the things. So again, take five minutes, but I've put there you need to leave a good amount of space for your quotes and your effects. So don't draw your table too small. That'll be a schoolboy error, as I would say. So uh, pause this video and do that for me now, please. Draw the table. Right then, moving on. So what you're going to do in a moment for me is actually follow the link, which you'll find on the slides there, although you'd be able to find the video pretty easily if that doesn't work for you anyway, but the link is on Show My Homework on the slides I've put up. And as I put in the top there, watch the poem, The Hill We Climb. Even that you can see is a bit of a metaphor, like climbing a hill. Being read by Amanda Gorman at the inauguration, that's Joe Biden's inauguration. Pause the video when you need to, to allow yourself time to record your ideas in the table. And as I put there as well, there is a transcript, so if you just scroll down a little bit from the video, you'll actually see the poem written out, which will probably help you a bit as well. If it were me personally, I'd probably watch it through and then scroll down and use the transcript to help me, but it's over to you, however you you think you're going to work best. I'm giving you 20 minutes to do this however, so look at whatever time it is now before you start this task. 20 minutes, so it's a decent amount of time, as I've said in the blue box, watching, reading and filling in the table. So I'm going to go quiet again to allow you to pause me and have a go at that please. I mean, I think she's a really inspirational young lady and what a great poem as well. And just like the idea of moving forward and hope is something I think we very much need in 2021 with everything that's going on. And finally then, what I have here then for task number three, remember you should be writing task one, task two, task three for me on your page. I want you to answer the questions one to three in full sentences, aiming to be as detailed as you can, please. And um, there are five questions and challenges going on here. So I'll read the blue box first. I'd really like to see these done well and have a really good go at the creative question five, please. Again, giving you 20 minutes to do this because the questions on their own won't take you 20 minutes. It's having a go with number five, which some of you did really well the other day when we did it for Caged Bird and there was the creative output. They were stunning. They were brilliant. So throw yourself into this. Have a good go for me. The questions are there on the screen really. I'd like to think they should be fairly straightforward. Um, and then number five really is a symbol or image you think best represents the key messages in this poem. So if I could ask you, and then oh, I'm going to actually sign off on this video. I don't need to pause it because you can then do this without me. Um, thanks for listening to this bit of video and hopefully it's been a use to you. And then I look forward to seeing you again for our next live lesson. Uh, in the meantime, stay safe and thanks.